Hello everyone, it's Crib A.N.E. and welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day and that you guys are in the best of health. And today's inspirational message, I want to be dealing with the subject of how to move to the next level. Some people are at the right place, but some people are stagnated at the same place. Let me give you a quick, quick scripture right quick. Mark 5 and 25. Let's read that right quick. And it says, And a certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years, and she had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and nothing happened, but rather her condition got worse. So when she had heard of Jesus, she got in the press since she knew that he was going to be in town. And she told herself, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I believe that I'll be made whole. But she said, if I can get close enough to him, and she did that. She got close enough, she pushed her way to the crowd, and guess what? She was blessed, and even Jesus felt that something left his body. Now this woman, first of all, she's got tired of where she was to be able to encourage herself to move to the next level. What happened in the story? Well, she had to think differently. Even though she used all her resources, all of her money, going to the doctors, and it didn't get better, it got worse. And that's a bad when a person tries something and you're not willing to try anything else and you keep trying the same old stuff and nothing ever happens. Something is wrong, so now we gotta make some adjustments. So. When you want different, guess what? You gotta think different. And then you, be gotta, you have to begin to move differently in your life. Not staying at the same level, but getting a, a completely different mindset. There's no saying old keys don't unlock new doors. Because the old keys are for the old stuff. But the new locks require, require a new key. So the world's problem is that they keep putting new wine into old bottles. And that's why the world is in the condition that it's in. A lot of people are in that same condition. It can't contain itself. It's just like an old relationship. A relationship that you know that's not for you and you keep trying and trying and trying and it falls apart or you end up half dead. Sometimes it's time to come to yourself and say, hey, it's time to move on because while I'm spending my time here at the hog's pen with somebody else, I can be spending my time with somebody else much better than the place that I've been. And you know, it's nothing wrong with trying to work things out, but you know, sometimes things are just a dead end and you need something new in your life to help you to move to the next level. Now, new doors, even in the natural, have different types of locks. I go to hotels from different countries from time to time and sometimes those hotels or Airbnb's got a key, but then sometimes they just have a little, like a little credit card, you tap it and it picks up and unlocks the door and you go in. Then you have to put it in a little slot inside the room to keep the power on. So those little cards sometimes, now you put them close to your wallet or the car keys or whatever, they become demagnetized and they won't work. So you gotta go back to the front desk and get another key that will work. Well, some people keep trying to play around with the same old key, not getting anywhere, can't get in, and <laughs> you can't get out. So, um, new opportunities have a completely different perspective. It's not where you were, but it's where you're trying to get, and it's also where God is trying to take you. But if you keep having that same old mindset, like this is the best I'll ever get, then you're messed up. And there's a lot of women that live in this world that's thinking, this is the best I can do. I deserve abuse, I deserve a meathead, a beanhead, and I deserve to be mistreated because 
this is what I deserve. No, that is not so. Because if that was the case, Christ would never came to die for your sins and my sins on a cross. God always desired better for you. So if you keep telling yourself that this is the best that I can do, this is the best for me, then you're in trouble and you're going to keep on bleeding foolishness for the rest of your life, not getting to the next level because you think that this is your best when God has given you a new dispensation on your life that you're not getting yet. So the same key that many are trying to use in this season doesn't fit. There's some people that was in your life back then won't fit now. And there's some people in your life now that fits perfectly because it's where God wants you to be for many years. It just took you forever to move. Now a lot of this is going to have to be on your effort because this woman that had this issue of blood she had to come to herself, this is no longer doable for me because I'm sick and tired of being in this condition. And if I gotta push my way through some stuff, through some people, to get to my healing, to get to a man that's going to heal me and to make me feel better, then that's what I need to do. And a lot of people are in the same state, but you're still sitting there, stuck. It's time for you to rise up and be encouraged and get moving to something greater that's waiting for you in your life. And so many people are frustrated and they can't tap into new opportunities because they simply won't do what it takes to discover new things. I don't get it. These people always be on the outside looking in. And I once was like that until I find out that the other side being on the inside is better than being on the outside. Uh, we're living in a season where we must handle people differently in this season. And don't give them too much of yourself. Give them just enough that you discover, see, are they going to be in your life or not in your life? You got to make some decisions. You got to get up and move because understand that you're not the same old place anymore. And stop trying to make things fit that's not for you any longer. A woman that's seven months pregnant, she's not going to be able to fit the same stuff she fit when she was one month pregnant. It makes a lot of sense because the expansion and growth shows up in due time and due season. A new, a new mindset is needed to get to the next level. Time for you to push past your current circumstances to be introduced to the new. And the only way you can do that, you make up in your mind that I can do better than this. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this message, for this word. Give us to have an understanding and comprehension that you have provided some better things for us that if we let loose and let go and let you have your way in our lives, we can get to that place. Give us to be determined. And it's time for something new in our lives. Show us that new thing you talked about in the book of Isaiah. In Jesus' name, amen. So, in the meantime, between the time, always remember that life is to be enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscription, notification, and thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next video. And may God bless you all to get to the next level as you be renewed in your mind day by day.